distribute. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our presentation about the Grateful Table Dine Out happening all November. Next. So for um, most of you, you'll know who we are, Restaurants Care. We're a nonprofit relief fund for food and beverage workers here in California. And if you're new to us, welcome. This is a great opportunity to get to know us. So Restaurants Care, um, we provide a safety net for our food and beverage community here in California. And since 2017, we've helped more than 1,600 families that have faced life's toughest challenges like car accidents, uh, cancer, wildfire, the pandemic, and, and so much more. Next. So the Grateful Table Dine Out. Um, this video is really for um, restaurant partners. We'll be doing a separate video for restaurants to learn how to leverage this opportunity, but this is specifically for restaurant partners. So vendors, suppliers, chambers of commerce, uh, visitors bureaus, and, and the like. Um, so welcome to the Grateful Table Dine Out. Uh, all month, all November, we are encouraging people to dine out to help out. So we are driving traffic to restaurants. This is a statewide marketing campaign to promote restaurants. Um, our goals are to drive traffic to restaurants, get people talking about restaurants, and then raise awareness and donations for the Restaurants Care Relief Fund. Next. Here's a video that we share with our restaurants um, to explain what the dine out is. It's one minute long and super helpful. So here we go. Sound seems to not be working, but that's okay. It's just music. You're not missing anything. Oh, there we go. Great, so as you can see, it's pretty simple. The message is dine out, help out. Um, so how does it actually work? So we have um, media partners and a PR firm, Powerhouse Communications, that's helping us promote the dine out, get it in uh, news, blogs, uh, in emails, uh, get the word out. Um, then we also have a Dropbox of free downloadable marketing assets that are provided to the restaurants and our partners um, that I'll show you in just a minute. And it's important to note that this is not like a typical restaurant week or dine out. There is no registration fee uh, required for the restaurants. There's no special menu. We wanna make it as easy as possible on the restaurants. So it's free and turnkey and all restaurants in California are included. So we're really hoping that the ROI on this and we saw this last year was great PR and marketing exposure, really powerful community, uh, consumer messaging, and then of course the community impact um, last year, we raised about $30,000 to help restaurant um, and food and beverage workers. Next. Okay, so these are the um, marketing assets, examples of. So we have uh, posts about Dine Out, Help Out. We have them formatted for Twitter and Instagram. Um, again, we have this message that I love. Dining out is your superpower. Use it this November. Uh, and then we have uh, principal assets as well. Like you'll see this decal here that um, restaurants can print and you see the cut marks. So you print it, you cut it, and you put that decal in your window all November. We also have uh, talking points for your crew for pre-shift notes. We have press release templates. We have stock images you can use. Just a whole host of things to make this um, work for you and your brand. Uh, so media opportunity, like I said, last year we launched this campaign and we're back again this November. We had great success in media. We were on a lot of morning news shows. Uh, we were in a lot of um, digital content, uh, newsletters and blogs. 
So what we give to restaurants are sample press releases and again, some of this messaging and uh, we encourage them to also, in addition to what we're doing, they can also work with their local visitors bureau, chamber of commerce, um, local news outlets to promote locally. And so I know quite a few of you are uh, chambers or visitors bureaus. So uh, for example, if it's uh, the Arcadia Chamber of Commerce, uh, you can really leverage this opportunity to be hyper-local to your Arcadia restaurants, for example. Next. Okay, the sweepstakes is back. Uh, this was a real hit last year. It's the UER Treat Sweepstakes. Uh, so each week in November, we'll be selecting two people to win a $200 gift card to the restaurant of their choice. So instructions are super simple. You just have to follow us at Restaurants Care on Instagram or Twitter. Uh, and then we'll post an image and you comment on that image, um, tag the restaurant you want the gift card to and a friend that you'd like to eat with. And if you win, uh, we'll buy you a $200 gift card to that restaurant. Um, so a lot of restaurants promoted this last year, hoping that they would be selected and um, we had a great turnout. Next. Okay. So really for you, um, uh, people and partners of restaurants, this campaign is really a way for you to show that you're an advocate for restaurants um, and that you have resources that you can give them. You're a source of resources. Uh, it's free and turnkey. So you're really not asking restaurants um, to, to do anything additional. Um, this is a turnkey opportunity and an, uh, a great resource that you can give to your restaurant members or clients. And then again, it's not only driving traffic to restaurants, but there is a deeper message here about raising awareness and funds for restaurants care. Next. Um, so some examples of how people promoted the dine out last year, some of some of our partners, um, they add it to a newsletter. So we actually have a blurb that's like three sentence long with an image that you can add to any of your upcoming newsletters in October and November. Um, Visit Temecula Valley last year did an amazing dining guide that was on their website and on Instagram. Uh, so they used November as a way to say, you know, here are the top five restaurants in, in the um, Temecula to visit this November, or these are the best alfresco restaurants. So it kind of gives you a theme. Um, and then you see in the top corner, Visit Berkeley did a whole uh, spotlight campaign all November where uh, every few days they would spotlight a local mom and pop restaurant and tell their story in depth on Facebook and Instagram. And it's a great way to kind of structure the month to really highlight your local restaurants. Next. Okay, so some simple ways to get started. Um, again, we know you have a lot on your plate, so we made this pretty easy. Uh, you can copy and paste our blurb and put it in an upcoming newsletter. I do wanna pause here and say, the campaign does run all November, all across California. So November one to 30, but restaurants can participate for any length of time that they wish. So if they wanna do this all month, one week, uh, one day, um, they can. So even in November, it's still worth sharing this message with your restaurants. So all October and November, you can include this in your, your newsletters and um, channels. You can send a direct email to your restaurant clients. Again, look like a hero uh, to restaurants in your community by showing them that you are helping to drive traffic to restaurants. Um, use it as a theme for social media, as we saw with Visit Berkeley. Um, you can promote the sweepstakes. That's always great engagement on social media. And you can engage your sales team uh, or your membership team. So if you have people out in the field who are talking to restaurants, Add this in as one of the points you'd like them to cover. Again, it's a, it's a great way to connect with a restaurant where you're not pitching or, or asking something of them, right? You're bringing them um, something that's good for them. Uh, so you can add that to your, your talking points or your sales um, pitches. Um, and then I, I want to make it sure it's clear that um, this is free for all restaurants. We do feature restaurants that add a give back to the restaurants care relief fund. Um, so if a restaurant says I want to do more, if they add a donation option uh, in the month of November, it could be a percentage of sales, a dollar from a you know, specific menu item, etc. If they do that, they'll be featured on our website, um, in our social media and in our media pitches. So one way for them to get a little more out of this. Um, 
If not, they could still, any restaurant, use the assets for free to promote dining and, and hopefully drive traffic to their restaurants. Okay, next slide. All right, we wrap this up super quick. Um, so if you have questions, that's my contact information. I'm Erin, and that's my email address. On our website, thegratefultabledineout.org, that's where you can download the marketing assets, get the social media toolkit. Um, we have our frequently asked questions, and that's where restaurants can sign up to um, get the assets or also be a featured restaurant if they do that donation collection. So thank you for helping restaurants. I know we're still not out of the woods yet, so every little bit helps, and we're so grateful that you're bringing this to your restaurants and your community. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, and happy dining out. Thank you, everyone. If I stop recording.